Hey guys, Tony here. So I wanted to record a video, a response video to Will Humphrey's video that he shared yesterday. Uh, I'll post a link down below to his video just so that you guys can go check it out. It's a great impassioned plea to try and motivate clinicians to start taking action and focus on the true priorities. Um, I agree with pretty much everything that Will's sharing. You know, I agree that the profession is frustrated it is angered, it needs to do something different, like it is on a steady decline. Um, I agree that we need to understand the importance of profitability. Profitability is what makes us, gives us a platform to do what we love to do. I don't necessarily agree with the idea that we have to fight insurance companies, we have to lobby Congress, we have to do a lot of the things that have always been done, because I think those strategies have been proven ineffective. You know, and, and while I could get into a deep conversation about insurance, uh, I just don't think that moves the needle in any significant way. I think my solution to you as a therapist being overworked and underpaid is to find a better business model. You know, for, for a long time, before 1900, ice harvesting was a massive industry. It was one of the world's largest, most profitable industries. But when refrigeration came along, ice harvesting disappeared. And so we need to innovate our way out of this situation. We can't just think that we can fight for higher reimbursement and we can lobby Congress to pay us more. That money has got to come from somewhere and it's not going to come from insurance and Congress. So I would say more important, yes, we need to take action. Yes, we need to do something. Yes, we need to figure out how to dig ourselves out of this hole. Because like Will said, most of you are just too busy to affect change. You're too busy keeping up with your progress notes and your documentation. You're too busy checking your schedule for the rest of the week and figuring out how you're gonna get all of these patients in, keeping up with the productivity standards that somebody else is setting for you. like. I, I'm not blaming you for not doing something. I'm just recognizing the fact that our best opportunity to save the profession isn't going to be fighting insurance companies and lobbying con Congress. Our best opportunity to save the profession is to innovate our way out of this situation, to do what we do best as physical therapists. We were amazing problem solvers, some of the best problem solvers in the world. And so we need to look at look at the problem for what it is. You have a high level of expertise. You have a high level of knowledge. You have a high level of clinical skill. You can't afford to trade time for money in the current model. So how can we make it so that we increase profitability without the associated increase in productivity? You know, where can we look? And of course, if you guys know anything about me, if you've seen any of my videos on the channel, you know I'm a huge proponent of finding ways to monetize our time, our knowledge, our value in ways that don't involve selling time, selling minutes of your life. So whether that be video content, whether that be social media, whether that be creating courses, um, you know, any of the, the number of ways that really are available to you in 2022 that weren't available in 2000 or in 1980 or in 1970. Uh, we're still trying to force a business model that was successful 30, 40, 50 years ago into an economy that is completely different. Let's take some time. Let's step back. Let's take a breather. Let's innovate our business model. Let's find new ways to provide greater access to a larger community, a larger population who would benefit from our services at a lower cost and in the process figure out new monetization strategies for what it is that we do. So Will, first, thank you so much for sharing your video and starting the conversation. You guys who are watching this, we'd love to hear from you. I'm sure Will would love to see a thousand comments below his video. Go to his video, comment on his video, let us know what you're thinking. And if you find a way to start to innovate, I know there's a lot of amazing clinicians out there who are innovating. We just don't know about you. Share your message. Let us know. I'll catch you guys on the next video.